Correction to Correction, October 1, 2020 by Anna Von writes. It is apparent that the purveyors of ID'd and the independent living being identification system are either unaware of or being deliberately obtuse about the effects of copywriting. We have just gone through a period of our history where identity theft and impersonation have both been accomplished via copyright and patent and trademark infringement and name capture. It would be stupid of us to fall back into any similar situation or scheme, despite the apparent goodwill and idealism of those promoting ID'd. A deed is a deed is a deed. It is necessary for the promoters of these systems and products to explicitly and contractually and in every case fully disclose all results of using their system to identify private property and to explicitly, contractually forego all rights, claims, and interest in the names and other data of their clients. The lack of such disclaimer indicates that this system could be misused and abused in the future in exactly the same way that the birth certification process has been used to latch onto the names and other private property interests of Americans and we do not propose to have any more of that going on. We also don't propose to promote any other or fundamentally different kind of government. We are here to lawfully and peacefully restore the American government. As a public effort and entity our government is fundamentally different and set apart from the many private enterprises that contribute goods and services to our government. Not understanding and recognizing the difference between public and private endeavors has led to the present problems we all face in this country, so we are again bound to remind everyone that private copyrighted materials are private and do not pertain to our public purposes. The American government has no association with ID and the use or non-use of ID products by individuals must be understood as a private and individual product or service purchase on a work-for-hire basis and not part of any government program. The American government is providing its people with valid, official credentials for identification purposes and is maintaining a public database for the protection of individual property rights and assets. This is not a private enterprise and any private enterprise that latches anyone's name or other intellectual property so as to incorporate it in any private business held under any private copyrights or charters, is merely a repeat of what the British Crown Corporation has done in violation of both international law and our public law. IDEED would do well to appropriately and officially define exactly what its terms of service and ownership interests, if any, are. The promoters and users of this system should also realize that their private system is not a replacement for public protection of intellectual assets. ID is not a government. It's a private corporation and incorporated business enterprise. I said what I said and I meant what I said and I am not feeble-minded or mistaken about the implications and possible abuses of what ID is doing. I find it necessary to remind everyone of the jurisdictional issues involved and also to remind ID that full disclosure is a requirement of all valid contracts on land. Links to Anna's articles and resources can be found in the video description box. Thank you for subscribing, liking and sharing.